Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, as I continue on making Not Meant for Children GTA 4 videos. I have done several character videos in the past because Nico meets such interesting people during his journey. This next video is Packy McReary. Yeah, nice play on words. Packy will eventually move to San Andreas and you meet up with him there and he can be a crew member of a GTA 5 you know, crew video. But this one is focusing on Nico's first mission with Packy called Harboring a Grudge. I will do some cutscenes and maybe fast forwards to reduce the overall time of the video. So let's get going. All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's going to judge Kate? What would she win if they did? Virgin of the Year? I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Fuck you, Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho, ho, there he is. Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you could be a comedian. Fuck off! <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here! But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister, lovely lass, scared to bits of life, and fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at him. Patrick! Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though, she don't put out. Which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. Eventually, you will be able to date Packy's sister, but you have to complete some of the missions before that happens. I'm going to let this play out because the conversation between Nico and Packy is actually very interesting. Who are we welcoming, and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the East. But we don't know what it is that they're bringing in, exactly. All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Pacino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh, yes. Yeah. Ray Pacino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash one. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Depends on what you think is fun. A stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, maybe. The general population, I'm not so sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe, they do things different there. Not so much of the fun in the shower that you guys have here in America. Must have been a real disappointment. Bet a guy like you thought he was going to be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you got to do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chased European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. Ah, I'd be fucking touched. You'd be touched if you did some time, that's for sure. They would see if they'd be able to touch me. I got some moves. You're a good man, Nico. I like you. Not in a fun in the showers kind of way. You know, a male bonding about to go rob some people kind of way. I think I know what you're saying. 
again, it's kind of interesting what they're saying to each other. And, well, there's a little bit of silence here before they end up getting to the actual main mission. Not that much time, so I won't fast forward, but I'm going to have a little chat over this. They're getting toward the main mission, so I'm going to shut up. You have arrived. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. Follow me, Nico. Okay, here I'm doing a bit of an edit because I screwed up a few times in trying to get Nico across this whole whatever to get to Packy, you know. But hey, this game's controls and one of the things I don't like about it is they can be a little finicky. So let's get back on to the mission. Deal's meant to be going down. Here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful.
Now that all the bad guys are dead, I find that just once you've stolen the truck, even though you're going to be pursued, it's a lot easier just to drive straight forward and not try and do multiple controls and shoot at people. Eventually you will get there. The truck is tough enough. Just, like I said, stay focused and don't try and battle anyone. Just keep driving. And this one is called Stand Up Jam Rock. Mission accomplished. All he had to do is stay focused and just keep driving. The stuff all in there? Sure is. All safe and sound. Full truckload of it. Well, the wives and mistresses are going to be happy when they men get a hold of all of it. Whole city's going to be hard in a few days' time. Who's this? That's my boy, Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. Nico, come over here. You work for these mick bastards. Fuck you, Kenny. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man.
And there you have it. Another wonderful mission. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by.